Well, welcome to Drawing Closer to God. My name is Wayne Gautney. Uh, I'm the senior adult pastor at Stetson Baptist Church in Deland, Florida. I want to welcome you tonight. I thought that uh, since some of you have been cooped up by this virus, maybe some of you are even watching in a uh, rehab facility or something like that. So I uh, thought I would get you outdoors for a change. I am here in Orange City at beautiful Blue Springs State Park. And I'm here for a specific reason, because tonight we're going to be talking about two sisters, Mary and Martha, and uh, just the choices that they made and the choices we need to make uh, each day. So let me read you this passage. If you have your Bible, you can look in Luke chapter 10. Now, this is right after Jesus had told the story of the Good Samaritan. And it says this, and starting in verse 38. Now, as they went on their way, Jesus entered a village, and a woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. But Martha was distracted with so much serving, and she went up to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things. But one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion, which will not be taken away from her. And so, whoa, uh, <laughs> this is what happens when you are doing a video out here. Hello there, friend. Welcome to the Bible study. Gotta love God's creation. It's amazing. So um, here we have a situation with two sisters making choices, not between right and wrong, good or evil, but between better and best. And that's what I want to get at tonight as we talk together. What does it mean to, to make choices that ultimately end up in the best choice for us as we go throughout our day. And we know that uh, during, uh, during every facet of our lives, we are trying to live out our sanctification, that process where God takes us and makes us more like Christ. And it requires obedience, it requires surrender, and it requires availability. And uh, as we'll see today, it also requires making wise choices. So here's the setting. Uh, Mary uh, and Martha, are have, they've invited Jesus into their home. Jesus is teaching. No doubt there are other people there in this setting. And uh, Mary is all alone in the kitchen. She is doing the work. And to be sure, in that day and age, uh, that sort of work was only the domain of women. And uh, for her sister to abandon her and to be seated at Jesus' feet, listening to his teaching along with uh, the other guests that were there, uh, this really frustrated and angered Martha, understandably. We've all, you know, been there where we've, we're doing our part to, uh, to make things happen and working hard and we see others that we think should be helping and they're not and it becomes frustrating and it was frustrating Martha to see Mary uh, not helping at all and so she goes and she pulls Jesus aside and just says please tell Mary to help me I'm here all by myself trying to serve all of these people in our house and uh, then Jesus shares something with Martha that I think we all need to hear, and that you're concerned about so many things, but Mary has chosen the better thing, and that is taking advantage of this opportunity to spend time at the feet of Jesus. And so as we've come here today to Blue Springs State Park, there is a natural spring that is pumping water 24 7 it is clean clear fresh water uh, that's come up 
I believe the spring goes down about 100 feet, uh, which is incredible. And it's always pumping this fresh water. And so the St. John's River water is pretty murky, pretty dark and ugly. But as you slowly get closer to that spring, the water clears up and is just crystal clear. You can see straight to the bottom. And uh, you've seen some of the uh, video that I've already showed you of uh, Blue Springs. It's amazing. It really is. And it's a parallel in our lives because as we draw closer to our fountain, our spring, which is the Lord Jesus, then our lives become crystal clear. Uh, uh, the vision of what we do next becomes crystal clear. We're not muddied. We're not making soft choices or wrong choices that are going to lead us in the wrong direction. But we have clear vision, clear sight, and uh, just clarity in every area of our lives when we are close to Him. Uh, I love the Steve Green song. You may remember it from the 90s. Uh, it's called The Mission, and it says, To love the Lord our God is the heartbeat of our mission, the spring from which our service overflows. And I love that line because it sums up exactly what it means to draw close to Christ and to have Him in our lives and to draw strength from Him because it's too easy for us as Christians to get caught in just going through the motions of service to the Lord and not really having that deep love relationship that empowers us and gives us that desire and want to to serve him to our fullest and to our best because we're in service to the king of kings and the lord of lords and so we ought to do everything we can to to serve him well and to love him in that way he said if you love me you'll keep my commandments so Let's pray and ask the Lord to help us to make the right choices in that way. Father, I would ask that you would help me and those that are listening. Lord, uh, people that are called by your name, that are Christians, uh, Lord, it is so easy for us to be distracted by worldly things, daily things, things that uh, we are just stuck in a rut doing, uh, not taking time to nurture our relationship with you and then we we see our lives falter because of that so help us to go to the spring of pure water help us to draw from your strength and your power daily in our lives so that we can serve you not by going through the motions or just some duty but uh, out of a joy and a love that comes from knowing you in a deep intimate personal way bless our time tonight. Thank you for those that are watching. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen, I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, appreciate you anytime you want to devote to this. Tonight's drawing is Mary and Martha. And rather than any detailed drawing, I just mainly wanted to capture the faces, the expressions of Mary and Martha. So I want you to notice the differences in the faces of these two sisters as we look at this drawing tonight. Thanks, and I uh, hope to see you next week.